Welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. We're not the only ones doing things differently. You see all those tall palm trees sticking up in the distance over the city. Well, they're not actually palm trees. They're cunningly disguised <laughs> cell phone towers. Meanwhile, in Elguna, stopping for cold drinks and um, an ice cream at the end, yeah? Yep. Tasty. Well, they do have Heineken, so I've gone for the Egyptian Saqqara beer. Hmm. Better than Heineken, but then. So, relaxing by the pool. Um, Fab 15 is now well and truly in progress. There's the uh, Technical University of Berlin, around the back of which is a lot of desert. And in that is the Fab 15 conference tent, humming with all those air conditioners uh, like it's a hovercraft waiting to drift off. And yes, we have camels. Amazing the things you find in universities too. We had an interesting day yesterday. Um, it was this uh, strange sort of reverse pinata uh, effect where we threw wool at some kind of um, llama dangling from the ceiling. She's seven years old, and uh, she says when she grows up, she dreams of being a maker. And in some form of strange exercise regimen called Fab Exercise. Yes, well, uh, geeks do the weirdest things. Inside the tent, um, you can hear that really nailed hum well people can't hear much because <laughs> of the aircon also that tiny little barcode uh, in the center of the screen uh, where are we there um, is supposed to let you into the wondrous mobile app which of course my phone can't read I can zoom in on it like that but my barcode reader can't zoom in so I can't use their clever barcode. Oh, it's gone anyway. And then we wandered off and we had a look at the pancake bot, which is, as one might suggest, a, a robot that 3D prints pancakes, of course. Um, we played around with it, took it apart, investigated. You'll be able to hear it play the sound. We might even be getting one of those for our own fab lab in the not too distant future. Looking forward to that. Anyway, today um, I'm going in to teach them all how to pick locks, which, you know, kind of relevant because Egypt was the first place really to uh, to take the concept of a front door lock seriously. Just add one job. Oh, it's working. Yeah, it doesn't mix as quickly as you'd think it would, does it? Yeah. 
All right, you want to do one? <laughs> You'll see what happens. Okay. And this is normal paper. It's a filter paper. And the way it adheres to the surface. Oh yeah. That's really helped by going in close with the camera and wiping out everything. He's gonna break more. He cracked it. That guy there. <laughs> this thing here while everyone else is distracted. Like a anyway, so this is the magic tufting gun. And that's the gear you really don't want to get your finger stuck in. Yeah. Um, yeah, we hope they get it back in commission again. Even if they put some kind of plastic bottle there as a shield, that'll, uh, that'll keep fingers out of it. Anyway, I'll go help them do that. Okay, Tammy, give me the finger. Yeah, that should hold it, eh? So I get back to the hotel. I want to sit down and rest in my chair. Can you see the problem? So here's something tomorrow made today. It's a microscope. And what have you got under your microscope, Dan? Let's have a look. Yeah. We've been having a great time and now thoroughly exhausted. So I'm going to say, for now, that's your lot down on Eco Farm in Egypt. <laughs>